Hi, it's Michelle with Michelle James Designs and I'm back today with another Photoshop Elements video tutorial for you. Today we're going to talk about the shape tool. That is this tool down here on the tools palette. If you're looking at this palette you'll notice there are some tools that have a little black triangle in the corner. If you right click on those you get other options here. So that is one of the things with the shape tool. You can do the rounded rectangle, the rectangle, but we're going to use the custom shape tool. So when you choose that, then up here um, along this menu bar you get some different options. And we are going to look at this drop down menu. These are the talk bubbles that we're going to use today, but if you want other options, you click on this little arrows over here, these little arrows and you can choose all the elements and scroll through if you want to see them all at the same time or if you want to narrow it down you can go to like the banners and awards uh, you can do flowers okay so there's all sorts of different options there for you and but we want talk bubbles there we go okay and we also want to start a new project. So we're going to do our file, new, blank file. And 6x6 six six is fine because I'm going to make a element that we can use on our scrapbook pages for later. And we want the transparent background this time too because that will help us to... What that does is it makes obviously a transparent background but it um, makes it so that the element can come off the page and onto a different page. I'll show you how that works. And we're going to click OK. And these little checkers means it's a background, um, a transparent background. Alrighty, so we're in here and we're going to choose the talk bubble that we like. Um, I think I just want maybe this one. And then you're going to click and hold the mouse button down and drag until you like the talk bubble that you like the size and you can always change the size later too if you don't like it okay so now I want it to be a different color so I'm going to go down here to this default black color and I'm going to click on that box and it brings up this box and I think I just want a blue or teal or something in here maybe a little lighter that looks good then we're going to click on the little bucket and click on the talk bubble and it changes the color for us. Okay, so now we want some text in there. So we're going to choose the text tool. And up here when you do that, it defaults to the same color as your text bubble and we wouldn't be able to see the font. So we want to make sure we use the color. I'm going to use black. We choose, choose the color that you want and the font that you want and this is impact which is kind of fun so let's see let's just write hello it's easy to read this font and it's just nice there kind of boring but that's okay when you have your scrapbooks you can put whatever you want in there and then we're just going and so the text shows above the shape which is how we want it and now we can just save it. So I like to save my stuff as a Photoshop document as uh, first. Let's see, talk bubble and save. And then to make it into a PNG file so that we can use it on our scrapbooks later. I'm just going to choose PNG, save again, and you're all set. There's our talk, talk bubble, and next week I'll show you how to use that on the scrapbook page. See you later. Bye.